Now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about what Jesus values, including marriage, children, eternal life, and service for God. We also learned about how difficult it is for a rich man to enter into heaven. Someone might ask the question, Is it wrong to want to have more money? Money is not man's problem. It is his heart's desire for it that is the problem. There are very few people who have learned to have the right attitude towards money. Even many Christians have failed to demonstrate their trust in God and can fall into the trap of covetousness, selfishness, and the love of money and things. We might ask ourselves why we want to have more money. Is it because God has not been good to us? Because he has not fed or clothed us? Sometimes we expect to live with not only comfort, but also in some degree of luxury before we think we will be happy. No matter how much money you have, you will never be content. You will always seek after more of it. This is because money does not give us security, at least the security that we really need, and that is the security of our soul. What does it matter if I have all the money in the world and yet do not know God? When I die, the money will do me no good. Because our hearts are so deceitful, we want to believe that we can follow after God and still follow after riches in this world. Let's be perfectly clear about what the Bible teaches about this. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Do not love money. And do not think that if you had only a little bit more of it, then everything would be okay. Having more means more responsibility and also more worries about losing what you have. If we have the right attitude towards money, we shall see it as God's provision for our needs and see ourselves as stewards or managers of His money. This will cause us to be wise and use money in a way that brings honor and glory to the Lord. Selfishness is not godly and should not characterize any of God's children, although men are by nature quite selfish. The Christian should be led by the Holy Spirit to share and lend assistance to others. When we have a heart of generosity, then God may allow us to handle more resources not to use it on ourselves, but to help others in need. Many people want to pursue higher education so that they can get a good job and a better life for themselves and their family. This seems like a good goal in life, but we should be careful in advising young people not to seek after riches just so they can be rich or so they can feel secure in a world that offers little security. The greatest advice we can give to a young person starting out in life is to put their trust in the Lord and allow Him to guide their lives. He may call them to have much or to have little, but if they have Him, they will have all the riches they need for this life and for the next. Remember, many rich people in the end will be ashamed because of their selfish living while many poor people will be honored because they had their trust in the Lord. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Matthew chapter 19, verse 30.